Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I could not wait to share this with you guys. I ordered the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. It is 1.0 fluid ounces and it retails for $40, which is kind of average, like a mid standard range. Um, I had to guess my shade online as usual. Um, so I ordered the 2.30 blend. Um, I just looked on Sephora and uh, like 80% of this is sold out. I know there is controversy going on. I try to stay out of that. I'm not in it for the controversy. I'm in it for the product. So what I'm gonna do today I have not tried this out yet, you guys. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Um, comes with a little instruction booklet. And then here is the little gadget. I think, I just think it's adorable. I love the shape. Um, I think that this is very unique. And um, you can either let it come down here and to use your beauty blender and wipe it off and then apply or you can hold it like this and let it drip straight onto your beauty blender which is probably what i will do i'll i'll kind of try both um and then here is the back and this is the little switch to turn it on and off i just think it is so unique this is bounce liquid whip long wear foundation this is a medium let me see <clears throat> this weightless billable whip liquid can be layered from medium to maximum coverage to address both tone and texture never dull or greasy skin gets that pro artist velvet team finish that looks perfect irl and on screen full coverage velveteen finish moisture boosting hydrolonic acid antioxidant rich white birch extract okay and then it says it's to get directions whole bottle 45 degree angle angle dispense foundation into the reservoir to create a surface for mixing or pump directly on your sponge so what's unique about this is if you want to mix like I have drops like Milani drops and Urban Decay you can put with your foundation. You can mix it in there. Um, I am going to just use it as is today. I want to test the foundation out alone without any drops mixed. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to do a couple check-ins and then um, I will give you my opinion at the very end. So first I'm going to pump it. Get it going. There we go. We got one pump on here. We're gonna do two, just because I think I'm gonna at least need two. Dab it, dab it, dab it on. That's a slight smell, but it's not a bad smell. It's not strong either. Seems to be applying pretty full coverage. Uh, definitely on my forehead, it is definitely, I hope I picked the right color. That is my main thing when I'm ordering online is you risk the wrong color. If you end up with the wrong color, you can mix and match with other foundations that you have or drops that you have like foundation drops i do not apply it under my eye because i put concealer under my eye now we're going to let it drip onto there now see you can do that and wipe it Let's see how it wipes with the beauty blender it takes it pretty much off but you can see a little bit of residue left i don't want that so I won't use it that way unless I'm mixing. Okay. 
I like the feel of it. It feels very lightweight so far. Um, velvety, smooth, kind of creamy. So I'm supposed to go out tonight, get our mind off of everything that's been going on with some family. Um, so I don't know how many check-ins I'm going to be able to do. But I will do as many as possible and we will put this foundation to the full test. It looks a little yellowish, but by the time I do my um, concealer and all that, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm very conscious of, uh, self-conscious of keeping my makeup clean and then we'll, we'll flip the switch so then this shouldn't push down it does not um so it's supposed to be it doesn't say 24 hour but we're gonna find out i'm not gonna wear it for 24 hours but i'm gonna wear it for a very long time again this is the beauty blount the blander beauty blender foundation um and we will be doing a wear test and i think it is absolutely adorable i love it i like the idea and see when you let it drip on here it's up in there so i'm gonna get a makeup wipe and clean that up and then i will be back after i finish all of my makeup so you can see how it looks i don't think i am really off on the color honestly once i set it um, and then I add concealer and all that, I think it will be actually spot on. Um, so yay, I am super excited and I will be back. Hello everybody and welcome back. So I am testing out the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Um, I've had it on now for about an hour. I finished up my makeup and we'll be going out later tonight. So I don't know how many check-ins I'll be able to do. Um, but so far, so good. I think it is holding up well. The only thing I noticed was it was settling right here in my smile lines. And I don't like that. But it is fresh and new and I do like the flawless finish look so far on the rest of my face so i will do some more check-ins when i can and thank you so much for watching and we'll see how it holds up see you soon hello everybody and welcome back so this is probably going to be my last check-in on the foundation it is the beauty blender bounce foundation i do like the way it is very luminous it is very uh, full coverage and has last the only thing i still don't like is with the way it emphasized the lines right here but otherwise i think it has covered very very well it has held up very well i've had it on now for six hours and i'm really enjoying it if i can find time to do a check-in later i will but if not i am very happy with the foundation and i have to say i very much so recommend it um i think that it is a beautiful foundation and i enjoy it very much so that is my thoughts on that foundation hope you guys have a wonderful evening see you soon bye